In this product role practice problem presented by www.free-academy.com, we are going to find the derivative of sine of x and cosine of x, multiplied by cosine of x. Again, you know, I keep saying this, as with every single product rule problem, you need to pick an f of x and a g of x. And like always, this is completely arbitrary. You can pick these however you like. However, sometimes work, some ways work better than other ways. We're going to pick f of x as sine of x and g of x as cosine of x. And I will solve this to completion. The next time around, uh, after I'm done with that, I'll pick f of x equal to sine x cosine x and g of x equal to 1. Just to prove, just to really drive home that you can pick this however you like. It makes no sense to do this way, but you can if you want. But before we get into that, I will uh, solve this one. Now the next step is to find the derivatives of f of x and g of x separately. The derivative of sine of x equals cosine of x and the derivative of cosine of x equals negative sine of x. Now that we have f, g, f prime, and g prime, we can add these into our formula. So our first term is f prime times g. f prime is cosine of x, and g prime, sorry, f prime is cosine of x, and g is cosine of x. And then we add it to g prime, which is negative sine of x, times f, which is sine of x. We have a negative here, which will take out the positive term, and multiplying these both together will give us cosine squared x minus sine squared x as our derivative. Now, to uh, really drive home this problem here, Notice we have an f of x equals to sine of x cosine of x. We'll need to do the product rule to solve that, which will give us an f prime of x. And seeing as we already solved that and it equals this, we'll use that. Just uh, save a little bit of legwork. Minus sine of x squared. Now g prime of x, the derivative of any constant equals zero. Now that we have these terms, we can bunch them all together, and we can do the product rule this way. f prime cosine x squared minus sine squared x times g, which is 1, plus g prime, which is 0, multiplied by f, sine x cosine x. Well, 0 distributed through is 0, so this term drops out. 1 distributed through keeps everything the same, so this condenses down to cosine squared x minus sine squared x. So no matter how you pick these, they always come out the same, just as long as you uh, do all your algebra right. But, with that being said, try to pick the most sensible ones.